Hi guys, I'm done. I have finished my first grad school interview ever at Johns Hopkins. So I just arrived in my hotel at Baltimore. I'm interviewing with Johns Hopkins this weekend. It's not really weekend, it's Wednesday. Um, but I'm interviewing with Johns Hopkins and I didn't get a chance to vlog before the flight because um, I literally had to like book it to get there. Um, but I made the flight and then the flight was actually super early, arrived early. Um, and it just so happened the person that was picking me up was here early, so it worked out great. All that's on the agenda for tonight is we're having a meet and greet with current students, but first I'm gonna go with one of the current students to get food because I have not ate anything yet. Yeah, so I got my folder, and in here is my whole schedule um, and information, and then all the people that I'm interviewing with. And so I had requested some people to interview with, um, and I actually haven't looked yet, so I need to look and see if I got them. And then tonight, I'm gonna try to do some prep if I can. Just kind of looking at like who I'm interviewing with and just at least looking at like what they study um, and kind of a little bit about their background. two for me here in Baltimore um, I mean day one was really just dinner and a meet and greet but so this was kind of the first day I'm exhausted I am ready for bed um, have a busy day tomorrow too so some of the people are going out to the bar but I jumped ship on that one today was a lot um, kind of hard to recap it all but yeah we started beginning with the program directors um, the head of admissions and they kind of just presented to us the program as a whole um and that and they also got out of talk with us that like you know they want to find a program that fits us too and you know this might not be the program for us and that's okay um which i think was really great that they have a huge emphasis on you know they want us to find a program that is works for us yeah so i had three interviews today with faculty all three were men working in some field in cancer biology um and I have been told by the other grad students that interviews tend to be really chill. Like, there tends to be interviews where they don't even talk about science. That was not the case with me. Um, I kind of got grilled in two of those interviews. And I, grilled might be a harsh word, um, but grilled based on what I was expecting. Also kind of like start blaming myself, being like, oh, they must think I faked my application. Which, afterwards, I was able to talk to some of the current grad students, and they were like, no, like... Those people are known as being really hard interviewers, like, definitely wasn't you. Um, and I talked to another girl who is interviewing this weekend, and she had very similar experiences. So that made me feel a lot better being like, okay, you know, it's kind of just like, you can't pick who you interview with. And then my third interview was actually amazing. Um, I really enjoyed it. He was very interested in the work I'm doing, even said, like, I would love to have you in my lab. Let's see, and then we got a facility tour, which by this time I was pretty exhausted, so I kind of enjoyed it, kind of wanted to go back to the hotel and, like, have a second to breathe. But, yeah, their campus is definitely huge. The hospital's huge. But I do like that it's all connected. Like, there, you can go to every building without going outside, which is very different from what I'm used to at... The University of Pittsburgh where you can maybe have to walk miles to get to the next hospital. I guess there's a lot I liked about today. I've been kind of iffy just because like it's my first interview so I don't really have anything to compare it to um, and I also put a lot of pressure on myself to like Johns Hopkins that I'm worried now that I'm gonna like it because I want to like it not because I actually like it. I'm having this whole overthinking complex right now. This program is so unique from any other program and I think it really fits my interests and my needs. Um, they have so much in play to prepare you for the next step. And I feel like a lot of schools, you really only get exposed to academia. Whereas here, you know, you can really pursue any option of a career. And they have this whole program in place where the first year you just attend talks from people in different fields. And then the next year 
you kind of dive more deeper into what you might be interested in. And then by your third and fourth year, you can even take breaks to do internships at these companies or to shadow or anything like that. And it's really cool. Another thing is it seems like they have awesome work-life balance. It seems like from talking to grad students and professors, they really emphasize that. Um, and like, of course, you're going to get PIs that don't. Um, but they're very helpful with telling current grad students, like the first years, what to expect from different PIs. They're very much open about that. One of the things that really has just sold me on this university, well, this program, is that I have not found really any other program like this. Um, I don't want to say none other exist because I was kind of looking specifically on the East Coast, um, and I wasn't, didn't actually know this type of pro pro program existed until I found it at Johns Hopkins, so there might be some out there that I don't know of, but I have not heard of a single program like this where you actually get clinical hours, you have a hands-on cadaver lab, like, it is so different. I, the way I was explaining to some grad students tonight, what I found I've loved about this is that um, I always felt pulled to work as like a doctor or something um, because I wanted to help patients. And the more I explored that, the more I was like, okay, I'm not, I'm not called to be a doctor. That is not for me. Um, I must be called to be something else. And I loved research and I knew that like I could see myself doing that as a career. Um, but I never lost that passion for medicine and for patients and healthcare and just kind of like what's going on right now in the clinic and I never lost that and it's been irritating me that like okay I'm going into research and I feel like I'm cut off from that world you know I'm putting myself in this box of research which is weird because it's not a box but like I'm not gonna have time to be in the cl like I'm not gonna be in a clinic like I don't know I've always felt kind of like cut off from that and with this I can I can do both you know it perfectly connects both of my passions here um, and it's awesome because I don't have to be the doctor, but at the same time, I'm going to get to learn everything the doctors are doing and see that, like, in person. Um, yeah. I think it's really an uncomparable program. Like, I've never heard of anything like it. I guess just one last thing. I need to go to bed. But <laughs> one last thing that really has surprised me is you come to a school like Johns Hopkins, you're like, it's a huge name. You expect it to be competitive and you expect people to be like oh I'm still prestige but then I get here and everyone just feels like a normal person and like they like to have fun and they like to relax and um it's amazing the community they have like they are all just so close and they get along and the way that like second years help the first years in their classes is incredible they have a whole program set up to like tutor them it definitely seems like you know this is their home and they're cared for and they love science, they're nerds, and that's what they do. I, th I think it's gonna be a hard one to beat, that's for sure. Um, no guarantee I'm getting in yet, but I'm definitely gonna express my interest to them after this weekend, and yeah, two more interviews tomorrow, and we also got a tour of the city tomorrow, which I'm very excited about because I've never been here, and I have not seen anything besides the campus yet. Um, I'm especially curious where some students live. And then I also know tomorrow night we have um, a party at one of the grad students' houses, which I think is going to be a really good opportunity to kind of just see how I mesh here. Hi guys! I'm done! I have finished my first grad school interview ever at Johns Hopkins. I just got back from the party. Um, so they do a thing here. I don't know if it is all, all schools, but the grad students have like a party at one of their houses for the recruits to Really, it's just kind of to see, like, if you fit in, and it's also just, like, a celebration of, like, you made it! Um, you finished interview weekend. Um, there's actually still so many people there, but I have to get up fairly early for a flight, and I know that I just do not work without sleep, so I came back. There's been ups and downs. I have had moments where I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the school for me, no question, and then I've had moments where I'm like, I don't know, I have no clue, like, maybe this isn't the school for me. Um, and so I think, you know, it's going to take some time for me to, like, really dig digest everything and, like, you know, pray about it, <laughs> think about it, um, and really figure out, like, if this is the best choice for me. Tonight at the party, I really enjoyed myself, you know, I really started to get along with some of these people and just, like, I don't know, like, not only did I get to, like, just dance and have fun, but I got to, like, have real life conversations with some people, too, um, 
and actually got to meet some people who, you know, share my faith and ask them how that community is here, which, like, that is a huge decision for grad school. If I'm going to be here for years, I want to make sure that I feel comfortable and I have a community and, you know, I can actually grow in my faith here, and it's so important. So, yeah. I'm exhausted. This was probably just me rambling on. Um, but that is all for the night. For the weekend, actually. Yeah, tomorrow I'm just going to get up. And me and one of the other girls are going to get an Uber to the airport because our flights leave at similar times. So I think this is going to be all for my Johns Hopkins interview weekend. I'm sorry that I couldn't show much. You know, I can't really be filming when I'm at an interview. But, um, yeah. I hope that in the future I have a good update. But we'll see. You know, I know... If this is the right program for me, it's going to work out, and that's, you know, God's got this. I could not have messed it up that bad that I'm going to ruin his plan for my life, so we'll see how it ends up. I got pit next week, so headed back home.